Welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgill, and here I have with me Mary Sherman, Director of Programming Events for the Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Great. Appreciate Thanks for it. being here. So um, tell me a little bit about some of the community events that the, ch the Chamber is involved with. Yeah, so we do a number of, of things, and I think a lot of people don't realize what we're involved in. Um, we run both the farmer's markets. There's one in Grand Haven and in Spring Lake. Mm -hmm. um, we run the Grand Haven Art Festival, which takes place in June, the Coast Guard Craft Fair. Um, we also run the Jingle Bell Parade okay. in the so holiday So there's a time. lot going on. Yeah, okay. yeah, a number of different things. Sure. So tell me a bit about um, the farmer's market and why you guys are involved. Sure, yeah. The the Chamber and myself, we really see the importance in, in farmer's markets, and we really see them as a hub of the community. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, there's the option to pop down and grab something if you want, but also we like when people stay a while, and we like to have activities and music and things going on to really make it more of a destination. Um, mm -hmm. And it's important to have, you know, accessible and local food for everybody. Sure. And then the um, art festival. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so that's in its 58th year. Um, the Chambers kind of ran it on and off, but consecutively for a number of years now. Um, and we block off Washington Avenue, downtown Grand Haven. Uh, we have just shy of 100 artists that come wow. for it. And we're actually looking at potentially expanding in the future because we've, we've really kind of almost outgrown the space. Um, we have a lot of interest in it, which is great. Sure. Um, we were ranked nationally. Um, we're in the top 20 in the country for fine art shows. And Congratulations. We're really, really excited about yeah. that. Yeah, so it's just a, another community event. Um, we recognize the importance of the arts, but also want to give... Um, you know, handmade artists the opportunity to sell mm -hmm. to the community. So, good. Um, so you get you guys also have an intern program. We do. Yeah, that's a huge part of my role in in the chamber in general. Um, we have an, we have interns almost all year long. There's a couple month period where we don't just when it, it's kind of a lull, if you can mm -hmm. call it that. <laughs> Is uh, that possible? <laughs> yeah, I don't barely at the <laughs> chamber, but. Um, just really see the importance in offering opportunities for students to learn. Um, in my programming, I had to do a number of internships, mm -hmm. and you really reflect on those times, whether they were good or bad. Um, they really shape you know, your future career. So Great. we really work to have a well-rounded opportunity for interns um, in the summer especially, but we also have them in the, the spring as well. Sure. And what are some of the jobs that the interns can do? Yeah, they really focus on the community events that I've kind of mentioned, mm -hmm. um, but also we we do have them sit up front in our office, and it's a customer service piece. Um, you know, as you know, where the chamber is located, we get all kinds of walk-in traffic. Sure. So it's kind of um, answering those interesting questions and getting to know the community, and um, also being involved in the different facets of our staff and what they do. So, and is that worked through a school specifically, or um, if somebody's interested in having an internship or just getting some experience? Maybe they're not sure if that's what they want to get into. Yeah, we, we do um, ask that it's for college credit, but we're not specific on the school. We do have a lot of Grand Valley students that come because mm -hmm. um, hospitality program is, is a great fit for what we offer. But we've had interns from MSU, Hope, all over Central. So, okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the sand sculpture. Yeah, that is actually an intern-ran event, pretty much. Um, that's kind of one of those projects that we kind of train them throughout the summer and then let them run an event entirely on their own. Wow. Um, that's just a fun community event. Um, it's at the city beach, and it, it is what it sounds like, a sand sculpture contest. Uh, it's super fun. It's all ages that come down, and people really, really look forward to it. Um, we have people travel up from Indiana and Chicago really? to come check it out. So. Okay. Yeah, and again, it's just an opportunity as well for the intern to really put some skills um, mm -hmm. to work. So, Okay, and uh, Grub and Brew Festival? Oh, yeah, I didn't mention that one at first. Yeah, that um, we, t we do in Spring Lake here at mm -hmm. Old Boys, and it's a food and beer sampling event. Um, it's all local products. Um, local restaurants compete using the ingredient that we choose. It's been bacon in the past, cheese, wow. potatoes. Yeah, really interesting. <laughs> and um, as you know, the restaurants around here are just amazing. Mm -hmm. So they really come up with some creative ideas and they compete. Um, and also we have local, um, well, Michigan Brewery and Cider Mills that, that bring different samples of their beverages and live music. And just it's in the springtime, so it's a nice opportunity to Everybody's finally... ready to get outside yeah, and get out enjoy of some good weather. Exactly. Yeah. So, yep. yeah. And then the Jingle Bell Parade. Yeah, that is um, a fun one. That's in December. Um, 
that can be cold, it can be exactly. wet, it can be... Uh, 60, we never <laughs> yeah, know. We never know. <laughs> we never know. Yeah, just, again, another fun community event, an opportunity for people to get out of the house and celebrate the holiday season. Um, it's open to really anybody that wants to be in it. Mm -hmm. um, we have anywhere from Boy Scouts to the large companies bringing huge floats down. Obviously, there's Santa at the end. Um, and just, yeah, a fun opportunity to explore downtown and the different businesses and celebrate the holidays. Great. Tell me what's your favorite um, program that you that you're work with? Ooh, yeah, that's, that's a tough one. I go back and forth maybe depending on what I'm currently working sure. on. But um, I think I'm really passionate about the art festival because we've really taken it to become you know, a higher acclaimed show and um, just really built it up. I think it's... Um, also has more room for growth, which is exciting. Um, but I guess maybe equally, the farmers markets I really have a, a passion for. Just like I mentioned, I love seeing the community mm -hmm. kind of have a, a hub and a place to come together, and people of all ages and you know economic stature sure. and all of that. It's just a little bit different than going to your local grocery store. I mean, just to see the fresh food and yeah, yeah know yeah. where it came from. Talk to your growers and producers mm -hmm. and build those relationships. You really can't replace that. Yeah, so. and how many um, farmers do you have there, do you know? We have anywhere from, you know, usually 35 to 40, but the, not all at once. Um, some vendors only come, you know, here and there just based on their product. You know, sure. blueberries aren't in season for mm -hmm. certain months. So, um, but yeah, it kind of ranges and that keeps the variety up too, I think. Okay. And, and what are the days and times that they're there? Yeah, Green Haven runs uh, Wednesday and Saturday. Well, sat Saturday's only in May. Um, okay. And then Wednesday and Saturday, June through October. And then that, that, that's open 8 to 1. And Spring Lake runs on Thursdays from 9 to 2. Gotcha. June through October. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Is there anything thank else that you, you want to add? Uh, just check us out. We have all of our events on Facebook and the Chamber's website. If you're ever interested in volunteering or getting mm -hmm. to know ways to be involved, we have tons of options. Okay. Well, because, I mean, any event that you have, you have to have volunteers. Yeah, so we there's can't do plenty. it without them. And exactly. can we just t briefly talk about some of those opportunities or what might somebody be able to do? Yeah, sure. Um, some of the big ones that we need volunteers for are um, the Jingle Bell Parade, just with the crowd control and the size of it. Uh -huh. um, the Art Festival, definitely a ton of volunteers for that. We also run the Coast Guard Craft Fair during the festival, um, and we need volunteers for that. So most of the summer events, um, Grub and Brew Fest too, we take some ticket-taking volunteers. So there's all kinds of different roles within the events, um, but yeah, tons of different okay. range of and opportunities. They, they can just contact you through yeah, the chamber? definitely. Perfect. We usually post the opportunities right online, but I'm always available through email, too. So Great. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Rui Homes has been connecting people to their perfect home since 2003. Whether it's your first home, family is starting to grow, or time for retirement, Dave and Stacy's expertise find the home for you and your family. Dave Rui Homes. Quality and craftsmanship are at the heart of every sweet we craft, guaranteeing each tempting treat delights the taste buds and gratifies the soul. Sweet Temptations, homemade indulgences that instantly delight and ignite your senses. So whether you need an exceptional gift for someone special or just want to treat yourself, Step into Sweet Temptations today and experience the taste of pure bliss. 621 Miller Drive in Grand Haven or at sweet-temptations.com.